Hi, it's Pillow Pages time. Is your imagination ready for the new story? The Portal Seekers, A Tale of Friendship and Magic Chapter 14 Which is called, The Keeper of the Portals Sophia asked, but where do we even begin to look for the portal keeper? Tom answered her, the ancient text said that the portal keeper is a being of great power. He's probably hidden away somewhere, waiting for someone worthy to find him. Sophia said, look Tom. The ancient text said that, that magic will help us to contact the keeper of the portal. We just have to prove ourselves worthy. How do we do that? Tom thought for a moment before replying. I think it's about the journey. We've been on a journey to find the artifacts, but it's not just about the destination, it's about the lessons we've learned, the friends we've made, and the experiences we've had. I think that's what makes us worthy. Sophia said, I see what you mean. Let's go find the portal keeper. And they set off to find the portal keeper and return to Tom's world. Sophia said, this journey has been so much more than just finding artifacts. We've met so many amazing creatures and learned so much about ourselves. Tom said, I couldn't agree more. I never thought I'd have so many adventures and make so many friends. Finally, after many days of traveling, they reached the portal keeper's cave. The portal keeper was an ancient, powerful wizard who had guarded the portals for centuries. Tom said, Great portal keeper, we've come to ask for your help. We've found the magic mirror, the dragon's egg, and the golden key. We need to find a way back to my world. The portal keeper looked at them with a stern expression before speaking. Portal keeper said, You have indeed proven yourselves worthy. You have passed the tests of courage, integrity, and compassion. You may use the portal, but remember that the journey is not over yet. You must continue to learn and grow, for the world is ever-changing and so must you. With the portal keeper's blessing, Tom and Sophia stepped through the portal and returned to Tom's world, where they were greeted by Tom's family and friends. They shared their stories and adventures with them, and they were amazed by all that they had accomplished. Sophia and Tom knew that their journey had been more than just about finding artifacts. It was about the lessons they had learned, the friends they had made, and the experiences they had shared. Sophia's journey to Tom's world began this way. After a few days, Tom's grandfather arranged for her return to her own world to visit her grandmother. It was Pillow Pages time, stories for the heart and the mind. Now it's time to like, subscribe, and to say goodnight.